welcome back to my channel today i'd like to apologize first because i am i'm not able to show you everything that's in the update well i will be showing you today but i'm not able to show it in fortnite battle royale so i'm not going to talk much today about it i'm just going to talk about what the mode's about and after that tomorrow i will be showing everything else about the mode and plus other things that have actually been happening in the game. I'm not going to tell you all today because I don't want to spoil tomorrow's video. <clears throat> but if you do get to enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe. And yeah, I apologise because I'm really, really just busy doing those challenges just to get that pickaxe. So I will be showing you that pickaxe tomorrow. And yeah, I will be showing you the new grappling all this. I've got so much to talk about tomorrow, so I'm not going to spoil it anymore, but I am going to talk about what the mode's about. So, a high stakes event is out today. It was meant to come out, I think, it was meant to come out on Wednesday, but they had to change it to Thursday because something happened. There was like this controller bug, I think, something like that. I'm not sure, but yeah, something like that. So, that was the issue. So, yeah, now I'm going to talk about what it is about. So, yeah, as you can see, the grappling out. And yeah, so what we're going to talk about is a new getaway detail, so the jewels. Jewels can be found in special supply drop safes located along the edge of the first storm circle. So as soon as the first storm circle comes, on the mini-map, there's going to be four jewel um, well, supply drop safes that will be coming down and you need to go to them and there will be llamas slash jewels coming out of them and you need to carry them. Opponents will be trying to take them because you have to get the jewels and get it to the getaway van which will be located once you pick up the llama. So yeah, I know the safe take long time to open so make sure the area is clear for attempting to claim a jewel. Obviously for a challenge you need to pick up the jewels so attempt to pick them up because you have to pick five of those up. Also you need to deal damage to people so I think what I'd advise you to do for that is sneak up on people and just shoot them down if they've got those llama things on their back. Don't just shoot other people because their damage won't count. It's only people with those jewels. So try to get as much damage as you can. Other challenges, play matches in that. You'll be able to play 10 matches. So yeah, four jewels will be in play on the map at all times. If a player escapes with a jewel or one is lost in the storm, a new one will spawn to bring a replacement. So if if because normally the, the circle goes really fast in the new mode and yeah in the mode people do leave those behind because they see enemies are gonna shoot them and get damaged with it so they leave it behind so then a storm comes and yeah it's in the storm so then it gets replaced so when the jewel is picked up it'll be visible on the map for everyone for 30 seconds so Carry a jewel will give players health their shields over time but also slow them down by 10% so when a jewel is picked up if you're low on health their shield it will actually provide you with that so you've got no worries on that. The getaway vans now I'm going to be talking about so there's four total getaway vans because there's four um jewels so there's four getaway vans so yeah and you have to be there you have to kill the opponents and take it off them and get it to the getaway one and try to win. These wins do count, by the way, if you're wondering, because I wasn't sure if they was going to count. And then afterwards, I found out that they do count. And then, yeah. So, getaway vans flow in mid-air. Jewel, jewel carriers must build up and then interact with them in order to complete the getaway. So, you need to have plenty of bats with you because you need to build and fight your enemies because as soon as you try to get to the getaway opponents are going to try to shoot you from behind so you have to be aware of opponents to see if the area is clear yeah that's amazing the goal is to find or steal a jewel and take it to one of the vans in order to secure a victory royale so yeah as i've said you need to get into the van and you've got your victory if no one shoots you down yeah 12 red Perseus supply drops land at the very beginning of the map. There's actually 12 of those around the map. But it says these carry a variety of longer range weapons and other items. You will really need, need a good weapons because you want to deal with the damage. Here. Snipers will be useful and shotguns because snipers you can just snipe on from wherever you are. You may be further away but you get more damage with snipers. So yeah. Resources harvested amounts increase by 50%. In solo, it's um, 
it's less like it as a do as it's gone. You it's if you break a tree you get like twenty, but in this it's fifty percent um I increased, so yeah. That's the thing with it. And only rare weapons or higher will be found in the weapon. So rare weapons, what I mean is from blue rarity onward are the early weapons you'll be found. You won't be, in fact, that's what it says here, rare weapons. But actually, I, I see this said about auto in there too, but I don't get it. Rifts, rift to goes and launch pads have been removed to reduce mobility for getaway van engagement. So they removed the rift to goes because they you just easily just rift away. And launch pads, so you don't get it quicker. The uh, profile stats KD plus the wins are tractors, but as I said before, they do count as wins, which I didn't know. But now I found out umbrellas are not awarded for wins, so don't be thinking you get you get umbrellas for the wins, because normally at the start of each season you get an umbrella for that season, but not for this. Weapons and items, so. I know I've talked a lot about this bird, but I thought I'd talk about this because I've got other things to talk about tomorrow. And I need to show you action. I thought I'd talk about the bird today so you understand it. So, yeah. The weapons and items, the grapplers have been added, as I've mentioned it. I'll be showing you those in action, how they be used, how good they are, what rarity they are, what you can do with them, blah, blah, blah. I'll be talking about that tomorrow. I don't want to spoil it. Fire at, a, fire at a nearby object to pull yourself towards it. Can be found in vending machines, floor loot, treasure chests, supply drops, and some supply lobbers. Chain multiple shots together to travel great distances. Has 15 charges. Discarded where charges are depleted. It's an epic rarity. Just gave that away, yeah. The lot of uh, revolvers, so revolvers are gone. Rarity color adjustments. Some items are removed or modified to better reflect their effectiveness. This only affects the colors and other characteristics of object. The remove the common suppressed submachine gun. Remove rare rocket launcher available of epic and legendary rocket launchers. Increase slightly to compensate. Increase epic rocket launcher drop rate by 18.557%. They've also increased the legendary rocket launcher drop rate by 2.05%. Remove legendary bolt sniper rifle. Remove the rear pistol. Remove the explosive increase from rear to ep I mean, remote explosive have increased. From rare to epic, port of force decrease from epic to rare, semi auto decrease from epic and legendary to uncommon and rare, increase the frequency that semi auto sniper rifles drop to align more with the rarity class, and increase the frequency that the semi auto sniper rifle drop to align more with the rarity class, increase uncommon semi auto sniper drop rate by 9.29%. Increase rear sniper semi auto sniper drop rate by nine point. Yeah, just for the same thing, but the it's just talking about the rare and common one. Dual pistols decrease in rarity from epic and legendary to rare and epic. There's also a rare dual pistols, as I mentioned last time. Suppressed pistol decrease in rarity from epic and legendary to rare and epic. Burst assault rifle accuracy adjuster. When holding down on the trigger, the first two bursts are more accurate. Spread down sights. I've got so much to read. Yeah. When holding down the trigger, yeah. But spread down sights beneath increase from 35 to 40%. Crowd spread benefit reduced from 25% to 20%. Jumping slash falling spread penalty reduced from 25% to 10%. Sprinting spread penalty reduced from 50% to 30%. Increased drop stack count for boogie bomb from 1 to 2. So you can stack 2. So when you get it from a chest, boogie bombs, you actually get them in stacks of 2 instead of 1. Increased maximum stack size for stick bombs from 5 to 6. Before you can carry. Five stick bombs, now it's 6. Increased maximum stack size for shield post from 3 to 4. Bug fixes, so fixed an issue that prevented audience effects on players on other players who are consuming a shield potion. And yeah, I'll just talk about the rest of us. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.